two rounds on a day three that saw all four seasons in the Paul Laurie match play presented by Petshaw here at Hanbury Manor. We started with the last 16 this morning, the quarterfinals this afternoon, as we whittled our field down to the final four. In the round of 16, Jotty Randauer defeated Keith Horn three and one. The Indian won the first two holes, he did half the deficit at the eighth before the next seven holes were tied. Randawa took the 16th and then hold this cracker for birdie to seal the match at the 17th. Tournament host Paul Laurie was knocked out by Bradley Dredge. Dredge, who won the stroke play event at Hanbury Manor last year, got himself two up after five holes. But Laurie hit back at the sixth and with this birdie at seven to tie the match. Dredge won eight and Laurie won nine. Then the Welshman edged back in front on 13, but Dredge ultimately put him away with whole wins on 16 and 17 to win two and one. Scott Hend won the all Australian match as he saw off Peter Fowler three and two. Hend controlled the match from early on, but Fowler fought back admirably by winning the 12th and holding out with this shot of the day for an eagle at the 15th but Hen finished it with a par at the 16th. Two-time major champion Angel Cabrera beat Gary Evans three and two. Cabrera won the first two holes, but Evans got an up and down match back to tied by the 11th. Cabrera hit an excellent approach to four feet at 14, and when Evans missed this birdie try, Cabrera knocked his in to go two up. Another win for El Pato on 15, and a tie on 16 booked his place in the quarterfinals. The other players to advance in the morning were Joachim Hegman, Greg Hutchin, Michael Long and James Kingston. Into the quarterfinals and 2007 US Open and 2009 Masters champion Angel Cabrera was the first player to win his, defeating Michael Long two and one. Long raced to a three-up advantage after four holes, but Cabrera won four of the next five to turn in one up. The Argentine sealed the win on the 17th. It took Greg Hutchin 20 holes to see off 1993 Ryder Cup player Joachim Hegman in a tight match that never had more than one hole in it. The 11th was tied to keep Hutchin one up after the Swede tied the match on 17. It took two extra holes for Hutchin to edge it with this brilliant approach and putt for a birdie at the 18th. That set up a semi-final with James Kingston. Kingston continued his superb form this week by beating Jotty Randauer two and one. Like he has done all week, the South African got an early advantage at three up after seven holes. Kingston canned this 25-footer for his birdie and the win. Bradley Dredge was the final player to advance to a mouth-watering semi with Cabrera as he knocked out Scott Hend two up. The Aussie was one up at halfway, but this sublime approach from Dredge at 10 tied things up. Dredge was two up by the 15th, but Hend won the 16th and hold this cracking birdie putt for a tie at 17 to take it up the last. Dredge slammed the door with a lovely approach and rolled in the putt to make it to the final day. The semi-finals are being played on Sunday morning with the third place playoff and all important final on Sunday afternoon. Visit legendstour.com for tea times and live scoring.